Now I plan on this time around to show you a, a couple tips on using the drill press. Then it occurred to me, with what I've seen guys do to drills, you need to know more about the drill first, then you need to know about the drill press, and then the rest is like falling off a log. Here's what usually happens the first time someone sharpens the drill. They come over to the belt sander, and old timers will tell you, don't sharpen drills on a belt sander. Because when all the, when, way back when, these belts were absolute crap. And you'd dig the drill in, it would tear a chunk out of the belt, it'd knock the drill out of your hand, come around and slap you three times before your lightning quick reactions got you away from it, and you get scared, cry, and run away. Absolute disaster. So, with these newer belts, you really don't need to worry about that. But what happens is, a person will come over and they'll take the drill, and they'll follow the angle on the tip, and they'll put it straight in one side, they'll put it straight in the other, and they'll feel a little point go, oh boy, I sharpened a drill. Yeah, backwards. And I'll show you what I mean. Now, here's a, the most important thing you need to understand about metal cutting tools, wood cutting tools. Um, and, and it's this. Let's say this is a wood chisel and I've got it laying down flat. What am I going to cut? Nothing. Until you raise it up and start getting into the material and give the tip some clearance to go down into the workpiece, you're not doing anything. Now, in a metal cutting tool, this is called the clearance. In the chisel, you give it the clearance you want, depending on how you want to cut. But in a metal cutting tool, this is the clearance, and you have to grind it in to the tool. So what everybody misses on the drill bit, and I'll use a large one here to kind of illustrate, when they put it straight into the, to the sander, they wind up with straight from this point back. Well, there's, there's no relief. There's no way the drill can, for lack of a better term, screw itself in to start curling a chip out. So what you have to know is from this point back that way, you need an angle. It needs the relief that you can manually put in with the chisel. You have to grind it into the drill bit so it's got the relief it needs to bring itself into the workpiece and start making your hole. So let me show you how to do that. Said the, the belt sander is fine for doing this, but a couple things, a couple things you want to keep in mind when you're sharpening a bit. You want to keep this edge square with with the belt. You want you want to keep that square. Uh, and the same thing when you when you flip it over to the other side. You want that at a 90 degree angle. And the other important thing is, uh, as I said, you don't want to go straight. You have to put the relief in it. That's the relief is the angle that you hold it down at. And then you can bring it in to the belt and do one side, flip it, and do the other. Now, to get the correct angles on here, what you want to do is use you want to use a drill sharpening gauge. The drill sharpening gauge will show you that you're on center and you've got equal length of your angles on both sides and show you you're at the correct angle. For anything you need to do, the 118 degree angle, general purpose for most anything. And the way they came up with 118 degrees was they invented the drill long before they invented the drill press and you had to make holes manually, and it was just the best amount of degrees and, uh, and angle to, to make it easy to crank a drill in. So basically, what you want to do, there's different styles of uh, drill gauges, and the one I use is a very simple little one where I can take the drill and take the shank and just snap it in there to set my width and then this one will show me, it'll show me that I've achieved the angles on both sides and that my point is on center. So the only thing you really need to keep in mind when you're sharpening the bit is to keep that lip straight, keep your angle down for your relief, and you can go, you can just go straight in 
you can go straight. It's not gonna, not gonna hurt it. And always watching that angle and keeping your relief and keeping the angle to give you the, to give you the 118. And it's really uh, about that simple. Now, once you get used to it, I kind of, I kind of like to give it a little bit of an arc, a little bit of a radius, uh, which seems to help in softer material. And then just check it on your, uh, check it on your drill gauge for your point centering, uh, and, and that you've got the angle right. And you may have to put it in the drill gauge five, six, seven times, adjust one side, then adjust the other. And it's not so much when you're following the drill gauge that you want uh, the perfect angle on both sides. If, if you're off from the 118 a little bit, sometimes that helps you look and see the light through the drill gauge as long as you've got both sides the same. And both of these little tips are hitting the inside of the drill gauge and the center is in the center. So that's that's the most important things about the drill bit is make sure you've got some relief and make sure you're at the right angle and make sure both sides are equal. You can get away with one side being fatter than the other, but what's going to happen is when you start the drill, it's going to orbit as it goes in because one side is doing less work than the other. It'll make a bigger hole than you want. So a, a couple things that let you know you really nailed it is uh, you go ahead and you start drilling hole one, it starts easy. This one started quite easy, all the lips and the angles are correct. And you can just feel, you know, how, how nice it wants to go in there. And because both the lips are equal, you get those two equal chips that just want to get out of there. Uh, and and they, come off, they come off equally and they curl right through the flute of the drill and, and off you go. Well, they reminded me again, I forgot to mention, wear your safety goggles, ear protection if you need it, wear all your safety equipment, because you never know.